I'm Alicia Batillo, and right now on your 13 Action News update, more than two years after the 1 October shooting, Metro now says it's implemented changes to better handle an active shooter scenario. The 1 October after action review was released back in July. It highlighted several areas that needed improvement when it came to response to the shooting. Those areas included equipment, communications and training. Metro now says it has implemented 84 of the 93 recommendations from the report. The hope is that other law enforcement agencies will use the after action review to plan for active shooter scenarios. This morning, some legal trouble for the company behind the Blue Tech Park project. A former spokesperson is now suing Blue Tech Park properties and its CEO saying they refuse to pay him. This comes as the CEO braces for a hearing linked to a criminal charge in Florida. She's accused of trying to defraud a South Florida city. A hearing for that case is scheduled to, to take place in March. Construction on Blue Tech Park is set to begin in 2020 near Cactus and Las Vegas Boulevard. Well, Zero Fatalities is teaming up with rideshare companies to make sure you get home safely this New Year's Eve. Starting at 10 a.m. today until 4 p.m. tomorrow, all Lyft passengers can get a discount using the code LASNYE. RTC is also offering free rides on 38 routes from 6 p.m. tonight until 9 a.m. tomorrow. Last year alone, 23 people were arrested for DUI charges in the Valley during the New Year's holiday. And ring in the new year with 13 Action News. We will also be live from the Strip and downtown Las Vegas. We'll help you celebrate with the best live music and fireworks. So tune in to Vegas 2020 tonight starting at 11 p.m. The weather looks cooperative. A chilly start. Temperatures in the upper 30s and low 40s now. We will look for sunshine most of the day, getting us to a high of 54. Looking at this evening, approaching midnight, temperatures in the low 40s. Just enough of a light breeze that it'll feel like the upper 30s, and we expect it to be partly cloudy but dry. At midnight, Alicia looks like temperatures in the 50s as we start 2020 tomorrow. Justin, thank you. That was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website at KTMV.com and our free mobile app.